Hello everyone, welcome to the session 18 in Jenkins series. So in this session, we will see how we can copy file from one Jenkins job workspace to the another Jenkins job workspace. Okay, so before we see how we can do that, let's see what is the need of this. Okay, what is the need of copying the file from one Jenkins job to another Jenkins job. So for example, uh, in your automation, in your application, you are creating some projects. And for that project creation, you have kept the project ID as dynamic, right? So most of the time we keep the data as dynamic because we are going to create that data again and again in everyday automation okay so let's say you created the projects with the dynamic ids in the first day and in the next day again you are going to create the uh, different projects again for testing in the automation so before we uh, create the new projects what we have to do is we need to make sure we delete the older projects because we don't require those projects okay it is unnecessary will take your server data or server memory right so before we create the new projects, we need to clean up this older projects having dynamic data. Okay, so for that purpose, uh, we need to see how we can get the data from previous automation build, right? So for creating the projects, you created one Jenkins job, okay, you created a build out of it and all the projects which are created in the first Jenkins job, we need to delete those projects, okay? That means we need to get the data from the previous automation build when we start the next build on next day. So this is the sample project. So in this, uh, we have two test cases. Okay, one is for creating the project, one another one is for deleting the project. Okay, so when I create the project, I am going to save the dynamic test, uh, dynamic project ID in the Excel sheet. Okay, so if you see the project creation test case, which has only one at the rate test ng method. So here I am just uh, creating some sample project ID, okay, which will be dynamic and then as I need to uh, delete this project ID, I need to store that value into the Excel sheet. So for that purpose, I have added this code. Okay, so it will just simply uh, writing the data into the Excel sheet. Okay, so this is the project ID we are going to write in the Excel sheet. Okay, so once you write that code or once you write that project ID into the Excel, we just need to uh, get that code from the Excel sheet when we are going to delete the uh, projects. Okay, so let me show you the excel as well okay so at this location we are going to store our project id which is dynamic okay so every time you will get different value at this location so we just need to uh, run this project from the github using the one jenkins job okay so i will copy this repository url and in the jenkins let us create one jenkins job here let's say this is my create project jenkins job let it be freestyle project you can use the main project as well click on ok select git here provide repository url okay and in the build step we are going to use the invoke top level maven targets so maven home and our goal should be clean install click on apply and save Okay, so when we build this project, it will simply run the delete project and uh, project creation test cases. Okay, both the test cases one by one. So it has fetched our project from the GitHub at this workspace location. So in the delete project, let me show you that code as well. So in the delete projects, what we are going to do is we are going to read the data from the external Excel, the same Excel where we have stored our project ID, okay, dynamic data. And we will get that value in the string data. Okay, and then using that value, you can search that project and you can delete the project from the UI. So here simply, as of now, I am just printing that value. So this is the first build. That's why it will give you the dynamic project ID value, which is available in that external Excel. Okay, this is first build and uh, writing the created project id in the excel so this is the value it has written in that uh, dynamic data excel so let's verify that as well so for that you can go to the create project workspace or you can go to the local workspace location as well okay so if you download this file from here so you can see that uh, this value has been stored into the excel sheet now so now just we need to get this value and delete the project right so when i going to start the next build for this create project 
it is going to fetch the values or files from the github again okay so currently we have the external excel with the dynamic project id but as we have started the next build the jenkins will go and fetch all the files from the github again okay so whatever data we have stored in this excel will be overwritten from the fetch from the github again okay so build success and again you will see here it is unable to delete the project because he got the value as dynamic project id because this is the value available in the file which is available in the github okay so when we start the next build it has copied the dynamic data excel again from the github and that's why whatever value we have stored in the first build that is the dynamic project id has been overwritten by that value okay so here i am unable to delete the projects okay in the next build and that is why we need to see this concept how we can copy one uh, file from one jenkins job to another jenkins job okay so what logic here we have to use is uh, once we create the build with using this create project we can copy that dynamic data excel into the another workspace or another location okay and from that location when this uh, next build start we can copy again that file and use that data from that file and that means what i can do is i can create one more project here in the same folder what i will do i will create let's say copy file job crystal project click on okay in the build trigger select this option build after other projects are built and it should be triggered after the create project build so we need to copy the file right so we will use as uh, my jenkin is installed on the windows machine i will use the windows batch command and if you are running on the linux then you can use the execute shell okay so here simply we just need to use the copy command copy dynamic data dot excel to the workspace for this project okay copy files workspace so that is our workspace variable okay so when the build for this copy uh, file job will start it will simply go and copy the file from this location okay create project and this dynamic data excel to the workspace for this current project that is copy files job okay and again once that file is available over here i am going to copy the same file again into the create project okay so here also i need to copy that file use the execute batch command okay so first it will fetch the data from the github okay that means the file which is available in the github will be copied and then due to this command it will copy again the file available at this location let's say copy files job okay copy file job this excel to the workspace again to the current job workspace okay click on apply and save okay so let me click on build now button so here uh, we have not run the copy file job for the first time that's why it is showing that file is not available so let's go to the copy file job so here you can see it has copied one file from the create project dynamic data excel from this workspace to the workspace for this copy file job so guys uh, what we have to do is we need to take this windows batch command build step before the our may one uh, top level may one target build step so let's test it now so for this build one project id will be created so it will copy the excel from that second job workspace so it is showing here as well one file copied and whatever value available in that excel will be shown here okay project id to be deleted is this one okay so this is the value available in the external excel okay and this is the fresh one created so next time if i start the create project this value should be displayed at this location so if i start the create project again 
it will first delete the 916 test project and then create the new one okay 916 so it has deleted this project the previous project created and it has created the new project again okay so this is how you can just uh, handle this scenario deleting the data or test data created in the previous builds and in the next build you will create the fresh data okay so that will definitely help you to save the lots of your memory on the server okay so i hope uh, you will understand this scenario and how we can handle this so let me know if you have any question on this thank you